Well, it can be one of the frustrating outcomes of a stroke, a loss of speech that cuts patients off from families and others, but it doesn't have to be that way. Lauren Petty has more on a new program that Im helps improve the lives of stroke patients. Well, read it. Tell me. You're the stroke patient. Uh, limb. 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 After a stroke 11 months ago, Eric Werner struggled with his speech. It made it very difficult to find words. Uh, to put a sentence together. An anesthesiologist, Dr. Werner, had become the patient, joining the 20 to 40 percent of stroke patients who acquire aphasia afterwards. Aphasia is a language disorder that's caused by a change to the brain. So most commonly, that's a stroke. That inability to communicate can be devastating. They become, I think, isolated because they feel bad about it. Card game. Cards? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Okay. How many other people would yeah. say card games? Dr. Werner joined group therapy at the Northwestern Medicine Aphasia Center at Marion Joy in Wheaton. There's a lot more um, uh, understanding and empathy uh, in, in that setting. Let's go around and talk about it. What's everyone's thoughts? Michelle Armour runs the sessions. They all get it. They are living in yeah. very similar situations and they can relate to each other on a level where other people just cannot. A study about the group therapy program found 100% of participants said it improved their quality of life and not just their lives, but the lives of their caregivers. Their caregivers felt more supported and felt less stress and strain as a caregiver. Companions, companionship. Dr. Werner also benefited from individual therapy. My uh, speech therapy, I've had over 50 uh, sessions. He's working hard to hopefully return one day to anesthesiology. I do a fairly complicated job where I hope I hold pe people's lives in my hands, so to speak. A person with aphasia intellectually is completely intact. That's why he's asking for empathy for others with aphasia as well to give them an, oppor uh, an opportunity to be able to uh, express themselves.